What's up? It's a good time to be alive. NBA All-Star Weekend just passed. Went to a couple events. Been in the studio working. I'm going live, y'all. It's story time. Ask me some questions ask about, about a story of mine, and I'll get through as many as I can. In other news, I'm coming out with a song called Underneath. It's my next single. March 12th, it's dropping. Y'all gonna love it. It's tight. I'm excited. Uh, it's first release of 2018. I got an EP coming out soon. All that, whatever. All right, y'all. What's good? Can I hear from the studio audience? Uh, Hey, thank you, thank you. <laughs> All right, here's a good one. What advice would you give to someone who is trying to start singing? I think it would just be listen to as much music as you can. You're gonna pick up on the stuff that you listen to. People that really only listen to gospel music, really pretty, do that and they can kill their gospel runs. People that listen to country, do country. So just listen to all of it so you can, you can be melodic in any type of track that you hear. What is your advice on a person that can't let go of the past when they're in a new relationship? Honestly, at this age, it, it's hard to say. I'm not trying to say nothing. Have your relationships, but people ain't got it figured out at this age. 17, 18, nobody got their brain together. So relationships are good and they're healthy, but don't let them throw you off because it's not worth it. My nickname when I was little, no lie, was Dr. Phil. Playground drama. Like, Dan or Dr. Phil come over here, I'll be like, look, we're gonna play this wiffle ball game. If we win, we're gonna be friends. Okay, if you could collaborate with anyone, who would it be? High key, I wanted to collaborate with Jill Scott. I love Jill Scott. I don't know if she's recording, you know, but hopefully I can, you know, bring her back, do something crazy. I think that'll be really tight. The craziest thing that happened with a fan, okay, true story. I don't know if you're watching this. Okay, so I was living in South Carolina at the time. I just had done like the Hannah Montana movie when I was little. This girl and her mom knocked on my door at my house in South Carolina. And I was 10 at the time. And they were like, is this where Dana lives? And, I, and my parents opened the door and it was just, it was awkward because they knew where we lived. I don't know how they got the address or whatever, but they showed up and they had a five by four picture of myself, a sticker, like a fathead. Um, we ended up putting it up actually <laughs> in, the, in, the, in this one room back in the old house. We don't live there anymore, but uh, that was definitely the craziest. She was nice. She wasn't trying to hurt me or, or do nothing crazy or take my saliva or anything, but definitely weird to have somebody give you a, a fathead of yourself unexpected. I'll do a couple more where you'll get a little camera shy. You know, he usually charges like 2,000 an IG post, you know. Is it working? Jordan, get your Wi-Fi. Yo, what's up? What's up? How you doing? Say hi to Oreo. Hello. Say hi to the camera. Hello, camera. What's up? What's up? How you doing? I'm, I'm good. I'm doing some math homework. What type of math, though? Is it something I could do quick? Uh, AP, AP Calculus. Ooh. Yeah. It says, prove that the integral of B to A, X, D, X equals B squared minus A squared over 2. See, this is, this is what it's trying to tell you. Life sometimes will not give you the answer at the beginning. And it, will it won't even give you the tools. It'll give you the supplies to make the tools to figure it out. So that's what all that intermittent B and, and dash, whatever that is. That's what that is. You feel what I'm saying? Don't get mad when you got the problems because look, bills, car payments, insurance. So look, I ain't your mama, but I'm your grandmama. Okay, I'm done. All right, well, hey, I love you. Deuces, thank you. Thank you. Yep, bye. bye. Love you too, bye. Fun fact, I was a newscaster in elementary school, fifth grade. I would get there at 7 a.m. I would go on. Good morning, this is Dana Vaughn's. I had a co-anchor. Uh, co I don't know really who she was, though. I was always trying to be lead anchor. We're live, people. <laughs> what was the most personal song you have written, and what was it about? Hard. I've written a lot of like personal like poems and stuff like that. I'm planning on sharing at some point in my life. Hot topic. Let's talk about Black China. I saw Black China on an airplane one time and didn't know who it was, but legitimately she sat up about six inches off the seat because of whatever plastic or whatever that is in there. Silicone. Silicone. Hey. hey. How are you? I'm good. I'm trying to balance you on a mic stand right now. Hey, well, where are you from? I'm from Chicago. Okay, so I'm doing a video right now about like story time or like anything. So ask me a question about a time in my life, an event, kind of anything, something maybe embarrassing. I don't really know, but the floor is yours. What was your most embarrassing moment? 
Oh, my most embarrassing moment. It was, I lived in Mississippi. I was like six or seven years old. And this was before I danced and really did any of that, but I did this local commercial for some Mississippi community college or whatever. And I thought I just had to be there and like just dress up like a doctor. Like that was my what I wanted to do in my career. You feel me? Like something simple. We get there and the producer's like, okay, everybody has to sing uh, This Little Light of Mine. I'm gonna let it shine. And keep in mind, it's funny now that I'm a singer, but I, I legitimately never sang in the shower, never did anything. I was petrified of singing. It just wasn't something that I did ever. So it's the first time I had ever sang really to myself. And now in public, in front of adults and producers and in front of a camera, I mean, God helped me out. I, I sounded pretty. I sounded pretty decent. It wasn't bad. I was scared. I was like sweating. I was. I was shaking a little bit. My mom was just like, "Do you know the words?" I, I mean, I did, but we made it work. We made it work. Hey, that was a good one. Thank you. What's your favorite song of mine? When I pull up, hey, they like. Whoa. Hey. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Ty, hey, thank you. I love you so much. Uh, thank you for, for, for being a day one. You're the realest. And you're going to be on the video. So, whoop. Thank you again to all my people on the live. Say bye. Um, deuces. That's it, guys. Um, it's my first kind of like talking YouTube video. Thank you. Yeah. Follow me at the underscore one underscore Dana. That's on everything. Um, YouTube. Check out all my music videos. My newest single underneath is probably out right now. If it's not, it's dropping March 12th. I love you guys. Support it. Spotify, Apple Music. You already know. Um, shout out to Oreo. He was asleep the whole time. Um, I guess I didn't give him enough treats prior. Love you guys. I'ma let you think about it. Oh, I could do this all day. Let me taste it. I'll be patient.